and welcome back. Um, so the last few lessons we've been talking a lot about the C, the key of C or the C family. So we've gone over chords like C major, and then we went to D, we went over D minor, E minor, F major, which is the four, G major, which is the five, A minor, which is the six, B flat which is the seven and back to C, which is the one and the eight. So um, this lesson, I wanna show you some more chords, but in a different family, I want to take a look at three chords in particular that are in the D major family, or they're in the, the key of D, the D family, but they're also, um, there are some chords that you can play along with C. And it all depends on the key, but all of these are good ones to learn and I'll show you why in a minute. All right, so first let's get started. The first key I want to teach, the first chord I want to teach you is a D major chord. So D major is only the bottom three strings. So these bottom three right here. So it's kind of uh, awkward at first, but you, so you're gonna take your pointer finger and you're gonna put it on the third string on the second fret. So I don't know if you can see, but it's this string right here. That string, that fret. So you're gonna take it, put it right there. Then you're gonna skip a string and you're gonna put your middle finger on the bottom string. So the top string, the one with your pointer finger should sound like this. Oops, sorry. The skip a string and then you're gonna put your middle finger on the bottom string. It should sound like that. And I'm hitting the third string and the, the uh, first string. And then you're gonna take your ring finger and to complete the D major chord, you're gonna put it on the third fret on the string that you skipped, the second string, or the B string. This is probably my favorite chord. Uh, it, to me, it just sounds the best. Um, out of every other chord, D major is probably my favorite. It just sounds the best to me. I'm not sure why. Okay, so again, you've got your pointer finger on the third string, that's the G string, on the second fret. And then if you want, you can put your middle finger on uh, right now on the third fret and then take your, no, I'm sorry, put your ring finger on the third fret, and then put your middle finger on the second fret on the bottom string. That is a D major chord, okay? The next chord I want to show you, I'm going to move kind of fast, so feel free to pause the video and rewind it as you as you need to. Um, but the next video I want to show, uh, <laughs> the next chord I want to show you is an A major chord. And it's pretty simple as far as the form of the chord. The only thing that's a little tricky is figuring out how to get your fingers all on the same fret. Um, so the A major chord, you're going to, so if this is the very bottom one, this E, you're gonna skip that string and then you're gonna put a finger on each one of the strings above it. So one, two, three, and they're all in the second fret. So it sounds like that. So if you can see, I'm gonna take my middle finger and put it right here. And I'm gonna take my ring finger and put it on the string below that and my pinky fits right under that and they're all squeezed into the second fret and it's one, two, three, all the same. That is an A major chord right there. There's a couple ways to play it. Um, one way to play it is to bar it um, like we did for the F major chord, if you remember, we borrowed those first two strings, if you saw that video. So another popular way to, to play A major is to bar it. So 
So I'm just pushing down all three of those, all three of those strings with just my pointer finger or my index finger. But that's a that can be a little tricky at first. Another way to play it is to, if you feel more comfortable, use your your pointer finger on the top instead of your middle finger. So this is the first way: is your middle finger and then your ring finger and then your your pinky. The other way to do it is if it feels more comfortable, take your your pointer finger and put that on top and then middle and then your ring finger. I will be honest, I, this is my least favorite way. It feels the most uncomfortable to me, but maybe that's just because I never practice it. Um, I always play it like this. But one advantage to playing this way is that you can put your pinky and um, you've got that easy hammer on. Anyway, so if uh, whatever of those three ways makes you feel comfortable, use that for A major chord. Um, the last chord I want to show you in this video is a G major chord. And it is very, oh wait, we already, if you've seen my um, C family chords, then you've already seen a G major, but I'll show you again just in case you missed that video. Um, so this is a G major. There's a few ways to play it. Um, you can play it so you take your middle finger put it on the third fret you take your pointer finger put it on the second fret on the string right below that so that right there is a chord just those three strings those three notes that right there is a G major if you wanted to play strum all the way down and not just play See, if you're careful, you can play um, just the top strings. Right? But um, a lot of times you want to give a full strum, and you'll notice if you just hold those two fingers down and don't and nothing else, and you strum, it sounds kind of awkward when you get to the bottom. That E, that E note right there. That sounds off, right? So what you need to do is, if you're gonna strum all the way through, you need to either use your ring finger and put it on the third fret on the bottom string, and that creates a harmony. Or um, use your pinky finger. I don't know if you can see it too well, but so it's your second finger on the third fret string your pointer finger on the second fret and then maybe your ring finger on the very bottom string on the third fret now that's that's one way to play a G chord um, the way I like to play it is if you can so I put my ring finger on top third fret my middle finger on the second and then I put, I use my pinky on the third fret on the bottom. And the reason I do that is so that I can do this nice little hammer on um, right here on the first fret. So I'm hammering on that B string. But you can't do that if you're playing it like this because you have no finger to hammer on up there. So that's why I like to play it with the ring finger on top and then middle finger and then pinky on the bottom. And if you ever wanted to um, string kind of some notes together, you could be like, so the G string and then open B and then push down and then lift your pinky up to that string above it. So 
anyway, uh, it lends itself um, when you get into more folksy or just more hammer-ons and pull-offs. It lends itself more when you, um, I feel, when you play it this way with the ring finger on top. So, you should now know your D major, or you will know after you practice it. A cool hammer on for the, well, I'll get into that um, in another video. So, D major, practice that. Practice A major, and practice G major if you're not already doing that. Um, one thing that I do with a G major chord normally, because I think it sounds good, if I'm not playing like a uh, folksy kind of song, I will, I'll, I'll use the uh, middle finger on top structure, but I'll have my ring finger on the third fret of the B string, and I'll have my, my pinky finger below that just like I normally would. So what ends up happening is on the bottom you've got you're pushing down on the third fret for these two strings, the bottom two. And that creates a beautiful chord right there. Right? That sounds pretty by itself, just by pushing those two down. So then if you add the, uh, the low strings, uh, low as in the um, as in the tone, not the uh, the volume or whatever or the position. But if you add these strings, that uh, G chord all of a sudden becomes really full. So, and that was just a G major, C major, D major progression with a couple pull-offs and hammer-ons that I will make a separate video about, about cool things you can do with some of these chords that will make your song sound better if you're playing songs, no matter what kind of approach you're playing. Um, I'll show you just a couple hints and tricks to make it sound like um, just cooler <laughs> just make it sound like a, a better sounding song than just if you were just strumming you know it makes it more interesting um, to listeners so anyway practice those three chords d major a major g major and look for the next video i'll show you some more chords in the d family in the key of d and after that, we will be pretty close to have covering most of the open chords. We'll do one more series with E major, or the E family, key of E, and that will cover a whole lot of songs. Um, you'll realize just how many songs, I'll make a separate video where we can, I'll log on to ultimateguitar.com and I'll show you just how many songs you can play once you learn the C family, the D family, and the E major the E family, the, the videos that I'm showing you. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Uh, see you next video.